welcome to today's episode. I've just come from a very difficult experience and that is going to the wake of a one of the men that is in the social circles that I, I exist in, in in Byron Bay. Uh, I He was certainly not a close friend of mine, um, but he knew many of the people that I did and his wake was today, his funeral was today. He, um, he committed suicide and left his, uh, left two boys. I don't know the exact details of it, but apparently a lot of the money uh, that he had has gone and presumably just found himself in a, in a deep, dark place where suicide made sense. It's like, wow. And, and it's very sad because there was a lot of support. There's a lot of people that came out to his funeral. And I, I wonder if he knew about that, whether he would have chosen that. Irrespective of his financial position, and, and it really just reminds me that money is important, but in the absence of money, in the, in the loss of money, it, it pales in comparison. It is just not in the same realm at all of a life, particularly of a father, but of any human life that we are on this amazing adventure and Just never know what could have happened tomorrow. Perhaps there was a change. There was a change of luck or hopefully more deliberately a, a, a reaching out for help or asking for help or, hey, this is what's going on. Because a lot of life, there are, I, I find it interesting. I find it interesting in that the, the default for life appears to be for the vast majority of humans to not go that well. And yet for some life goes well. I was just listening to work the system by Sam Carpenter and he spoke of 15 years of struggle and difficulty where he did not have a systems mindset, what he calls the systems mindset, which is basically saying, Hey, the results of my life are there because of a reason that this universe is logical, that it is defined in terms of if things get done, then there's an outcome. If things don't get done or different things get done, perhaps could be a, could be another way to look at that, that there's a different outcome. And that by looking at the world this way, it's possible to examine results and change the way that they were created, do a different thing. Now, many things in life have to be done a certain way in order to get a certain result, but we live in the most incredible time that there are many opportunities to learn from the experiences of others. Sam Carpenter, 15 years of struggle that can be purchased for 50 or $60 and transform mindset. I think this one here, .com secrets, $28. Yes, I have to read it. And yes, I have to extract that information and actually implement it. Just buying the book won't make any difference. Just reading the book won't make any difference. But reading the book and implementing now we are talking about a change in the way things are done. And that change leads to a change in results. And I just wonder if, if this man had discovered this, this truth, this, this way of thinking that he could accept that where he is at right now was the result of the way that he did things. And that if he could see that, then he could change the way he did things and get a different result. This type of thinking is not that common. It is far more obvious, perhaps in the moment that putting out a fire or 
or dealing with the problem that a system has created is the right way forward. But in actual fact, that investment of time would be better at changing the system so that it doesn't happen again, that the return on investment instead of being a one-time return on investment where that problem gets fixed, is now an almost infinite return on investment because every time that that system gets run in the future, it will lead to that better outcome. So if you are struggling with your mental health, if you're struggling with thoughts of suicide or checking out, know that there are some severe consequences to that that it is relatively easy for those who commit suicide, they're out. But the pain, the, the scar, the difficulty and the pain that is created by that action, it means reach out and ask for help. You might be surprised at just how much support there is. But life is busy, life is challenging, life is difficult, but it is an opportunity to put your hand up and say, hey, this isn't working for me. And perhaps others have better ways. Perhaps other methodologies, other systems of living, other systems of doing business, other systems of running a family, other systems of looking after health have been discovered, have been created. And then it could just be the simple purchase of a book or taking notes on someone who has found a better way and to at least explore that and say, hey, if I put this in place, what will happen? Because the benefits for that could be massive. We could have been having a very different experience today. Perhaps this man could have actually been sharing in a family dinner, having a great meal with his kids, bleeding as a role model, even if he was down that the trajectory could be changed by changing the way that he lived, changing the systems of his body, of his spirituality, of his relationships, and of his business. And while it may take some time for that, that long-term benefit to appear, there would be a definitive experience of improvement by changing the system, that the next time that it got used, there would be a different result. And this perhaps is, is one of the great gifts of people who've looked at a system's mindset as being critical to not only business success, but also life success. So perhaps you might take this time to reflect on what is good in your life. What is, what is incredible? What would be missing if you were not here tomorrow? And then looking at, hey, what are the investments that you need to make? What are the changes that you need to make so that you can begin to experience results that perhaps previously were only imaginary or only, only in your wildest dreams? But perhaps it is just far more simple than that. It is a change in your way that you see the world that you change the system and you change the results. That's all I got for you today. I hope you are well. I hope that you are, your family as well, and that you take this opportunity, having heard this, this, this training, to reflect on not only what is good and what is valuable, but also what needs to change. Thanks for tuning in today. It's a somber Facebook Live. It's a, a somber experience today, but it is in these moments of deep sadness that it is an opportunity to celebrate that man's life, but also reflect on, hey, what could have been done differently? Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks so much for listening in on this journey, and uh, I will see you then. Good night for now. Mm -hmm.